Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed painting. And I have the car right here. It's called the Eight Crate. But see how it's blue with the red and white, the stars, stripes. And this is going to be a painting that is going to be donated to a worthy cause. Now it's for the Twisted Foundation. I met these guys at Riley Days and uh, just talk with them because they do have, uh, it's a toy drive for uh, sick children. I know they've done stuff with Riley Hospital in Indianapolis and a few other places. And one of the things they like to do is, is Hot Wheels. And that's kind of what God is talking. And um, I remember him telling me, the one guy telling me that they had donated so many Hot Wheels uh, for the children in, at Riley Hospital that they, and other hospitals, they just basically have told him, hey, stop sending us Hot Wheels. We got wait, we got thousands of them sitting here and we, we can't get rid of them fast enough. So stop doing that. So, but they're having a toy drive in December, on December 10th, at the Hancock County Fairgrounds in Greenfield. Here's their card, Twisted, and it's for the toy drive. And I told them I would donate, and I'm going to be doing another piece for them. But um, the last event I did, there was there was two guys I've talked to. The, the second guy that I met, uh, he actually, I met him at Riley Days later on that weekend. But he came to the event I did last time, uh, just a couple weeks ago, and he brought me um, a skateboard, which I'm gonna be painting a skateboard with a with a car on it, and this this one, and then he also gave me a box of Hot Wheels, which was so, so nice of him. Probably because they have so many, they don't know what to do with them all. But this is the one, the eight crate, with the stars and stripes. So that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. So I decided to do, excuse me, a flag themed painting for this car. So we're using red, white, and blue. It's only three colors we're gonna use because that's the only three colors in the American flag. <clears throat> now I have done some Dutch pours with the flag colors. I've done a lot of flag themed paintings. So a lot of mine, that I have done before were on a, a wooden cutout of the United States and it, they're usually a swipe. So it's usually like red, reds and whites and then blue swiped across it. They've, uh, so I've done some swipes, but I've done some Dutch pours as well. And that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put blue on my front end of the canvas, about a third of it, and then some red and white stripes. And then we're just gonna try to blow it around and see what we get. Now, for the car, I've got to think, I've got to try to figure out where I'm going to place it, what, uh, how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to try to do it so like the blue goes, a good peak of it goes, a blue goes through the red and white, and that's where the car will go, is at the end of that. Like it's pulling the, the, the flag in. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I've already got all the paints mixed. They're all artist loft, red, white, and blue, all of them. So it's all artist loft tonight. And so, and then we got the Hot Wheels car. And so all I got to do is adjust the camera and we can get started. All right. So we've got the canvas ready to go. So I'm going to start with doing some blue on this end. Now, normally I don't film myself doing this, but I decided to do it on this one. Just because it's going to be a little bit different than just putting the background color down. So. And I just try to get all the white off of the sides covered in paint. 
And that's what we've got done, so. So what I think I'm going to do with this one a little bit differently. Dang it. Got red. I poured some red paint out of my Artist Loft bottle and it, boy, it had some awful uh, chunks in it. So normally I would do red and white stripes, but I've decided to do red, white, and try to get this blue down here. Maybe blow some red and white up into the blue. So we'll see how that goes. So if I see some chunks in here, that's just from the paint bottle. So. So there's a chunk right there on it. Paper towel. We're going to get some white in here. Try not to get the red and white mixed up too much of because you know what that'll make. That'll make pink. So I'm trying to, I'm going to put some blue in through there anyway. I really don't care if the paint's mixed like that. It's not a big deal. I'm going to be blowing through that anyway. Sides done a little bit. There we go. Put my tool up. Let's get the torch. here and we'll add some we'll add some stuff to it
Not sure if I'm liking the line, so I'm going to try to blow that out a little bit. Now this is a little bit different than what my normal ones look like. I was thinking about putting this right in here. I think I'm gonna stop messing with it, so. There's something right there, yep, that's what I thought. Ooh, that gunk on there. Alrighty. So there we have it. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I know it kind of looks a little different, a lot different from what I normally do, but I kind of wanted to do the red, white, and red, white, and blue type thing. And then I, I was going to have it separated, just have the blue coming in, but it was too much solid here, too much solid here, too much solid here in the three areas. So that's why I kind of intertwined all of them. It's still red, white, and blue. It's abstract. It's whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I know the resin will really uh, pull those colors out and will make it look a lot better than what it is right now. I still think there's some junk right there. It sure is. I don't know what that is. It was that junk that was in the bottle. All right. All right, as you can see, this one is dried. Got the back of it taped. I've got the car ready. We're gonna put it right in here. Just like that, about right in there. So here we go. I am using Pro Marine resin. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. So we are going to be using eight, seven ounces. Sorry, not eight. I think I said eight because the car is called eight crate. But we are using seven ounces of resin, three and a half the hardener, three and a half the epoxy. And as you can see, this cup has measurements right here so i measure just under the four a little bit under the four and then about in the middle between six and eight which is seven makes sense sometimes i go just a little bit over but as long as we're getting right in that range it's all right i'm not mixing way too much and i'm not mixing way too little so i can get as much out of my resin, my two gallon kit that I can, which I'm getting down again on this kit, this two gallon kit, 
Probably got a couple more resin projects and I'll be out. I've already ordered another, another two gallon kit, which I have received from Amazon, which is where I get this. So I had a show yesterday up in Lebanon, Indiana. Met some really nice people, sold some stuff, some paintings. Of course, the my last Pink Floyd one I had sold. My Dragon one that I had just done, it sold. And I, my dual Batmobile one with the gold and the purple sold. And some others sold as well, which is always a good, good day. So I was happy. I have another show coming up next Saturday. And so today is Sunday. So my wife and I spent some, the day together. We went out this morning around I don't know, 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30. And we went to a couple stores. She was looking for stuff for her, just Christmas stuff, decorations. She heard of a store. The area, the reason that we went uh, to the Noblesville area today was because we went and we're going to go to the theater and we were going to watch The Chosen, which is a TV series, or tell us, well, it's not on regular TV, but it's a, it's a series. They've already had season one and two, and this is season three starting and they had they decided to have the first two episodes in the theater and we wanted to see it in the theater and so we went and saw the first two episodes it's very good now if you don't know what the chosen is um, it is a it is the story of jesus and his disciples and him starting his ministry and very good very good series to watch we have enjoyed the first two seasons i myself probably like the first se season the best there's still a lot of bubbles in this thing but uh and i've probably watched the first season five or six times i don't know but it's a very good very good series. I like how uh, I just like how they've they've made it, and I highly recommend it. And they do have an app called the Chosen app, and you can watch the you can watch. The for free on the app so that's nice and this is not done by a, a like the regular Hollywood uh, the way they make mov movies and TV series it is a it's all uh, I guess you call it crowdfunded so but anyway, it's you can watch those for free. You can donate money to it if you want, wish. Um, we have never donated any money to it, but we have purchased like the DVDs and a couple other merchandise things from them. And then, of course, going to see this in the theaters has helped supporting them as well.
So we went and saw that today and it was very good, very good. And we can't wait for the rest of the series, the season to come out. I think they've finished filming season three already. So we went out and ate uh, as well before the show. It started about 2, I think it was around 2.15. So we were going in the afternoon. And uh, since it's nice and cold out, we were able to do a few things and get some groceries and just leave them in the car because it's cold enough out. It was only like 20, 29 degrees today. But we went and ate at uh, Chili's, which was right there in the area where we were at shopping in the Noblesville area. And uh, kind of unusual. It was good, uh, but uh, their ice machine had broke down, so they didn't have any ice for the drinks, which is kind of... So, I mean, they had a few had a few things that were cold like it's kind of weird that lemonade chocolate milk uh beer and ibc root beer uh now i don't drink beer so i i just had water but it was just kind of lukewarm water i mean it's kind of weird i didn't drink a whole lot because to me restaurant water isn't the best tasting water out there and, but ice does help, help it, and with no ice, it uh, definitely doesn't help. But the food was pretty good. Uh, my wife really liked her meal. I liked mine. I had the spicy shrimp tacos, which were pretty good. My wife had the, some honey barbecue chicken finger type things. But they gave her um, like a corn on the cob and she said it was kind of cold and mushy. So she was kind of disappointed in that. But other than that, it was pretty good. It was a couple things. So it was a nice day out. Just my wife and I having, spending some time together and doing a little shopping and seeing a movie and eating out. And so it was a nice day. All right, I think I have all the bubbles popped. So you don't have to listen to me talk about my day anymore. So we're going to put it right in here. I think right there. All right, we have a very colorful red, white, and blue painting. <clears throat> it goes along with the car. Let me know what you think, if you think this was a good painting or not. And uh, hit the like button if you like this one. And leave a, like I said, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now, please do help, help the channel. We are growing little by little, but we're growing. Thank you for watching.